In this exercise, we will be working with three single phase transformers like this one. There is a high voltage or primary side to this distribution transformer that is good for 15,000 volts, 15 kilovolts, and it has a secondary between these two connectors that is good for 120 volts, and a tertiary between this connector here and another connector here that is barely visible, that is also good for 100 and 20 volts. In our exercise we have not one but three of these single phase transformers and they are connected on the primary in some way and also on the secondary and tertiary. But it's better if we see the connection from the top. Here we have represented the transformers by a view from the top. We see the primary, the secondary and the tertiary of each one of the three transformers. Let's read the exercise now. An engineer, that is you, finds an old bank of single-phase transformers connected in what seems to be a three-phase bank, as was shown in the figure. Each one of the single-phase transformers has three coils, primary, secondary, and tertiary. They are rated for 15 kilovolts, 120 volts, and 120 volts, respectively. The high voltage system ABC is a symmetrical three phase 15 kilovolts one. But the primary of the trio is not connected to the high voltage A, B, and C phases. Oh no, it is connected instead to phases A and C and to the midpoint of two coils connected in series between phases B and C as in the figure. Let me read that again looking at the figure. The high voltage system A, B and C is a symmetrical three phase 15 kilovolts one. That is the voltage between phases A and B, B and C or A and C is 15,000 volts. But the primary of the trio of transformers is not connected to phases A, B, and C. It is not. It is connected to phases A here and C here, but instead of being connected to phase B, it is connected to the midpoint M of two coils, this one and this one, connected in series between phases B and C. The two coils B, M, M, C have the same number of turns. That means that this voltage and this voltage have the same value. But also they are linked by the same magnetic flux, says the exercise, which means that this phaser and this phaser are parallel to one another. Parallel with the same magnitude that forces the point M to be exactly at the midpoint between B and C on the complex plane of voltages. The questions are, what is the connection group of this trio of transformers? Part A and Part B connected like so. What are the voltages between P and Q, Q and R, and R and P, both in magnitude and in phase? To find the connection group, we observe the transformers. The primaries X1, Y1, and Z1 seem to be connected in A delta. We know what is the convention for deltas in the primary. This one, where phase A of the primary is at 12 o'clock, phase B of the primary and phase C of the primary, they follow in positive sequence order. This phaser corresponds to the voltage of X1, the primary of transformer X, this coil. And this one corresponds or should correspond to the primary of transformer Y, this one, and this one to the primary of transformer Z. This is the standard. Let's see if this connection follows it. The tip of the arrow, let's call that the dot, of X1 is connected to phase A of the primary and to the non-dot of Z1. 
Well, the tip or the dart of x1 is connected to face A of the primary and is connected to the non-dart of Z1. Check. The dart of Z1 is connected to the non-dart of Y1. The dart of Z1 is connected to the non-dart of Y1. And it is connected to phase C of the primary. Hmm. It is connected to phase C of the primary. Check. Finally, the dart of Y1 is connected to the non-dart of X1. The dart of Y1 is connected to the non-dart of X1. So this is a delta and it is connected the right way. There is a difference here. Instead of connecting the dart of Y1 to the phase B of the primary, this one doesn't go to there. It goes to the point M. But that is for later. Right now we are assessing what is in the connection group of this transformer, determining what it is. Now let's go with the secondaries. Please observe that the secondary is x2 and y2 and z2. All of them are connected by the non-dot. They form a little star. So here we have the secondary of x, the secondary of y, and the secondary of z, just as they are connected in this diagram. Now let's see what else. The dot of x2, x2, the dot is connected to the dot of y3. Mm -hmm. So we need another phase or like y1, that is y3, and connect the dot to this one, like so. And this is the tertiary of transformer y. By the way, this is wrong. This is a secondary of transformer y, y2, and this is y3. If we do the same for the other coils, the other tertiaries, we find this. This is x3, and this is z3. And that is the connection that we have. What connection is that? Well, delta in the primary, zigzag in the secondary. What group of connection? According to our convention, phase A is going to be connected to a coil of the same transformer that has a coil between the phases B and A of the primary. There is transformer X. This has to be X3. This is phase A of the secondary and because it's positive sequence, this is phase B of the secondary and phase C of the secondary. What connection is this? This is a delta zigzag 6. This is a DZ6 connection.